Hello, once again, welcome to Agiotech, dedicated to teaching you everything you will need to know in order to become an IT expert. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create a professional looking flyer for any kind of business. It could be a business meeting or for a church flyer. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create exactly what I have on my screen, step by step. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get alert anytime we upload a new content. Remember to watch this tutorial to the end in order to get everything I have for you in this tutorial. So without much ado, let's jump straight into action. So this is the banner in which we are going to create in this tutorial. So the first thing we need to do is to create a new file by setting the size of our banner. So I'm going to go to the file menu, go to new and I'm going to set the size. So the size of this banner is going to be 1.3 and then the height is also going to be 1.3. I'm going to put the resolution around 700 because the size is very small and I want the resolution to be very high in order to get high quality design. For the background content, let's leave it as it is. Color mode is also going to be, sorry, the color mode is also going to be RGB color. We have other format, the CMYK popularly used for this large format printing but let's leave it for now and then we'll click on the create button okay so this is the size and everything we are going to work with and if you look at our standard this is the standard in which we're going to work with we're going to work and design the same thing as you can see over here so this is the banner in which we are going to create so let's jump straight so we want to first set our background color so our background color is basically having a grid and if you come down here the right corner and you double click on this you notice that within my layer style i've set a gradient color over here and you could see it's a blue and then a light blue combined that's my gradient color so in our design we are also going to set that to do that we first need to unlock our background by double clicking and then click ok so now when we double click once again we'll be able to assess our layer style then we can click on the gradient button okay so this is the gradient button set when you have different gradient colors but this is the blue color we are going to work with but we are going to blend the background a bit okay we want to add because it's about a prayer first prayer first is concerning something about prayer so i'm going to add some background pictures something that depicts somebody who is praying so if somebody is praying you can see that has been blended at the background over it. so i'm going to do that I have those image down here. I have my image on my PC. I'll just drag this and then drop this on top of my layer. Okay, so this is what we want. I'm going to position it a bit and then hit the enter key. So if I have it this way, I need to blend it with my background. So I'll double click on this layer or you can easily go to the normal here and change it to overlay. But I'll double click in order to see the layer style. So this is the layer style of this. And what I need to do is to come to blend mode and change it to a overlay. Okay. So when I click on the overlay, you notice that it has blend this particular image with my background. But I need to brush it a bit by using an eraser tool and then try. First of all, I need to rasterize this image in order for me to work with it. I'll just right click and go to what? Rasterize layer. Once I rasterize this layer, with my eraser to selected, I'll be able to blend it. So when I click with my brush tool, sorry, with my eraser tool, I'll be able to blend the edges. So you notice we're having something similar to already what we have over our standard. We also need another blend, another background image over here. It's also about youth service. So we need to have something regarding the youth to order to blend the background over here. So I have a picture in which I'm going to use. So I'm going to use this youthful picture from my church YPG and I'll drag it onto my background once again. So I have this down here, hit the enter key and I'll use the same process. First I need to what? Rasterize this image by right clicking and go to what? Rasterize layer and then I can double click once again, go to the layer style and then this time around I'm going to change the blend mode once again to what? Overlay. So notice I'll blend this and I'm going to use my eraser to to also brush i'll brush around the edges this way okay so we have something similar so far 
and then we've done with our background the next thing we need to do is to have our logos two logos then we can continue from there so we need the two logos that we have at the top over here okay so let's first select our logo i have my first presentation logo over here i'll just drag this on top of my image and then i have to resize it smaller by clicking on the edges and drag inside i'll resize this logo and then i'll just position this okay and then the same logo i have over here i'm not going to pick the ypg logo i can just drag it from my already designed and then position it over this way so this is the logo that i'm going to wear for the sake of time i will not be typing everything i will just drag a few of them and then you see how the whole thing is going to go about other than that this video is going to be very very long okay so i have these two logos and i just need to type this if you want to type this you can easily use can easily use the type tool over here horizontal type tool click and then you can type all in caps press b Tyrion church of uh, ghana so i can use my move tool and then reposition this reposition this okay so i'm going to reposition this by dragging the edge let me resize it a bit and i can use my move tool and then position it as simple as this so we have president church of ghana and then the next one that will follow will be more zion congregation do do uh, but like i said i don't i don't need to be typing everything it's going to delay our time I'm just going to type the most important ones so i'll just come down here and just drag this and bring it here bring it here this is a normal thing you can easily type by using the type tool uh, horizontal type tool and then i also need my young people's guild it's also a normal thing i'm going to drag it so the ones that are a bit complex i'm going to design them for you to see okay so i have this set and i'm going to show you how i worked on this image okay, so this i'm not going to drag it i'm going to show you how i'm going to work on it so i'm going to bring this image i have it here for the pasta this is the image i'll drag it to my design position it at where i want okay and hit enter so i just want to cut this image and then i'm going to use if i come down here sorry the ellipse tool selected i'm going to change it from shape to path and then i can just drag on top of this image i want to have a perfect shape so i'll press down my shift key while dragging so this is going to give me a perfect so i want to have a perfect cycle so i'll hold down the shift key whilst i drag across this and then and then what i've gotten is enough i can use my move to to at least position the image a bit okay so this is perfect and when i come down here i'll just click on this icon down here called the add layer max so i'm going to add a layer max to this particular image double clicking will just cut that image and give me a perfect shape so i'm not getting my circular shape and then we have a stroke around this so we're going to work with that stroke so let's add that stroke around it now so we need to double click on this layer now double click and then now we need to go to stroke but this stroke is a gradient what we have over here. so i'm going to change the stroke the fill color the fill type from color toward gradient this way and i'm going to increase the size okay i'm going to increase the size this way and i'm going to select it's a blue color i'm going to get similar color as we have okay so let me just try play around with the colors okay okay so i'm going to use I'm trying to get something similar to what we have already so i'm going to stick to this and then I'm, i think i have some inner shadow as well so i'm going to add some inner shadow to it increase opacity increase the distance a bit okay so if you compare this to this yeah it's just the gradient that change a bit so you can easily play around with get a perfect gradient and then you are good to go okay so this background layer that i blended over here seems to a bit it's appearing too much so i can easily double click on it 
or I can just go to the top here and reduce the opacity a bit. So I don't want it, I want it to disappear a bit. But my writing will show up. Okay, so we are good to go. So I have my image here. I need a name. I'm not going to type the name. It's a normal thing. I'm just going to drag it there. Just going to drag it there on top over here. And the most difficult ones, I'm going to show you how to create them. Okay. So I have this test. You can use your or is not a type to to just type this as simple as that so i'm going to do the next thing i'm going to type the youth service okay this two i'm going to show you i'm not going to drag them i'm going to show you how to create them so i'm going to type youth service so i'll come down here to my layer and just click okay this is all going to be this is all going to be in caps so i'm going to type youth so i'm going to separate image I'll select this and then from here I'll just click on my type tool by the properties and just drag to the right in order to increase the font size okay I'm going to increase the font size so I can use the move to to reposition this reposition this in the middle and this is not the color we want I'll drag the edges in order to reduce the size a bit that is too big so we'll reduce the size a bit okay so let's compare it to what we have. This is what we have over here. If you click on this, you notice I have some properties. I have inner shadow, gradient, and then I have drop shadow. Okay. So if I double click on this, the original one, notice I have this inner shadow. And then I have gradient and I also have what? Drop shadow. So let's try and add those properties. So I'm coming here double click on it going to layer style good so we need the inner shadow we need the gradient so the gradient i'm going to pick compared to the original is going to be okay so this is the gradient i'm going to work with but let's do a few adjustments to this i can delete the middle let me just remove some modification and then we should be having something similar to so I'll delete this as well and we're going to maintain this. What other property do we need? If you notice, we have the shadow as well. Okay, so let's add a shadow to this. I'm going to add a shadow. Okay, so we have the shadow and the inner, let's reduce it. We are reducing the inner layer to, let's say about 25. The inner shadow to about 25 the opacity. And I will reduce the distance a bit, increase the size a bit. I believe this is almost closer to what we have over here. So we also need a service. So the service, all we need is to have a copy of this and then just edit it. So I can press Alt on my keyboard and then drag it down. By dragging down like this, I have my a copy of my youth. So I'll just change this to service. So I'll just say service. So I'll just resize this in order to get what I, what I want. So I'll just resize this a bit. I can just use my move tool, come to the edge and drag inside this way. And I'll position it just beneath this. So let's compare it to what we have. Okay. So we have something similar to this. So I just need to change the stroke. Okay so what we have over here notice the color is a bit different we just have to come down here double click and then change the gradients okay so when you click on gradients the only thing we need to change is change the gradient property so notice by selecting this particular gradient we have as something similar to this we also need this sorry we also need this rectangle around it as you can see so i'm going to create that now but before that i will copy I'll click on this and I copy these properties. When I right click, you see copy layer property or copy layer style. And then when we come down here, we select rectangle, the rectangle, and then we change it back to shape. And then we drag across this way. When we drag across this way, we have to change the fill color to turn the fill color off and then rather turn the stroke on this way. Once you turn the stroke on, let's 
increase opacity a bit the size sorry increase the size a bit this is too much i think i'm putting it around four put it around four this way and this is what we have we need to knock the layer style we copy we just right click and then paste it on this so paste that layer style and then now we need to right click again on that layer and then may rasterize in order for us to be able to edit this particular layer star so now we have this layer star we cannot go ahead you notice i've cut some portion of the rectangle so we are going to do that we can easily do that using our selection tool over here rectangle selection tool come down select across to where we want to cut and then press the delete key on our keyboard and then it will delete that portion of our particular our layer so i'll come down here and also i want to cut it up to this side Notice that layer is selected. So even to not delete my services, it will only delete that layer. Pressing the delete key and then it's going to delete it from the page. So that portion has been deleted. So far, so good. We've been able to create this. The next thing we need to do is to have our prayer first. Our prayer first over here. And I'm using the, the activity. So the activity we have a prayer first. And I'm using a font called black sword so i'm going to use that phone to type the services so i'll come down here click and then type what activity sorry let me change this one let me turn the caps off and then type activity so this is it i'm using a phone called black sword if you want to use it you can easily download it and then use okay so i'm going to position it over here and this black sword this particular activity is having a background layer so i'm going to use the rectangle tool select rectangle tool and then draw a layer on top of this and change the background to what red so this is on top of my text so i just have to come back to my layers and drag it below okay so okay so let's go ahead and then now type our prayer first okay so this one also i'm going to type it for you to see i'm going to use the same font impact font is very bold so i prefer using it something that is readable so let me change my phone type to what impact okay so i want everything in caps so i'll say prayer first okay so let's just reposition it down here reposition it down here so as you can see so let's compare it to what we have okay so we can move everything at the top a bit. Let's move everything to the top. And then, okay. So this is what we have, the prayer first. And the font, everything look a bit different. Okay, if you double click this particular layer first, it's having a unique property. If you come down here, add this some bevel, and then some shadow to it so let's go back to this double click on prayer first and we'll add some bevel and some shadow okay so it's be similar to what we have over here you can do some adjustment to your bevel and emboss and it will look nicely as you want so i created this and this is the same process i used in creating this so i'm not going to waste time on this i'm just going to drag this okay let me create it again for you to see so we need to just draw create this particular rectangle around it let's go through the same process and let's use the rectangle to drag across this this way change the fill color Turn it off and then add a stroke to it. Add a stroke. The stroke is too big, and I think three is okay. And like I said, I want this use the same property. I'll copy, right click on layer, copy layer star, select this rectangle, and then paste. Right click again and go paste layer star. And I'm going to get this same property for this. So what I need is to also rasterize in order to cut portion of this off so that's what i'm going to do next so let me right click and then 
go towards rasterize layer and then this I'm, ha I'm having some liberty to cut portion of it off so when i use my selection to select across and then hit the delete key hit the delete key and then delete this portion off so we can just go ahead and then drag the rest of the thing so we need the first Thessalonians the text relating to the activity we just drag it there and I also need a background so I need this background over here a white background beneath this so I'm just going to go to my layer rectangle tool and then create a background white background below this so it's on top I'll just come to my layer and drag it below this and I'm good to go so what we need next is to have our act our date and then the rest so what I'm going to do is just to go forward and then drag this one so these are normal text I've shown you how to use the text tool you can just go ahead and then use your text so I use the impact font to create that so you can easily use the same property to do that so let me just drag this for the sake of time it's something easy you can easily do it's very easy you can do it just by using the type tool type add some bit of shadow and then try to change them and see how this is going to work for you so for the sake of time i'm going to just drag the rest of my write ups and we are good to go i believe i've shown you everything you need to know in order to create a nice looking banner leave your views at the comment section and just let me know if you have anything i can assist you with Remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime I upload a new content. So I'm just drawing the. This is just a, a line down here. You can easily use the rectangle tool to do that. Selecting rectangle, I can just drag across this way. And then it's going to be a white show color. And I'm going to leave it that way. And then you see I'm having a line down here. And the last thing is the location. We have the Mount Zion congregation Dodua. I'll just drag it. So this is also a, a normal type to or you can usually a normal uh, type to horizontal type to, to, to do that. And this is an icon, a location icon in which you can easily get on Google. So I'll just drag this one also to the position where I want to put it. So you could see within some few minutes we've been able to create an amazing banner as you can see compared to this so we need the last thing white present we need to just drag this and then put it right here we can resize it a bit and hit the enter key so if you compare this to this there's no much difference between the two so we managed to create this same banner using photoshop so what i'm going to do is just to go to once you are done you want it in the image format just go to file go to save us and we want it in the image format. so select the save type toward jpeg and then give a name you can say flyer and then you select the location so this is going to my pictures and i'll just click on save and then go to what okay so this is just a processing which you can use to create an amazing flyer for your business don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell thank you so much for enjoying this tutorial keep visiting my channel in order to enjoy the amazing content bye bye